Welcome to a new video class. Today we'll be talking about rules of exponents. There are seven rules that we will be going over today. Multiplying, dividing, power to a power, zero power, negative power, quotient to a power, and product to a power. Let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need a ruler, a glue stick, scissors, color pencils, markers, graphic composition book, cut and paste notes, two pieces of copy paper, one colored, Okay, for the next part of the video, you're gonna take your sheets of white and colored copy paper, and you're gonna fold them in half, hamburger. And you're gonna take your scissors and cut along each crease. Cut them in half. All right, so now you're gonna take and then you're gonna to put them in some sort of a, some sort of a pattern. So like color, white, color, white, like that. All right, so now you're gonna take your pattern of half sheets and we're gonna make some tabs. So what I mean by that, you're gonna make some skinny tabs. You're just gonna push them away from each other, slide them up and make some skinny tabs like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna fold the top half over into the bottom half like that. Make some skinny tabs, and it'll make sense in a minute while you're doing this. Like that. All right, so as you can see, it's not perfect. So what we can do, we can take our scissors and just cut this part right here. If, if you would like, you don't have to and just cut that little extra part off right there to make it perfect, right? And just like that, so I cut off the little extra part and lost. Look how smooth that is. All right, so what we're making is a flip book with rules of exponents, okay? So in each tab is gonna be a different rule of exponents. Okay, so you're gonna need your black marker Okay, so the title is Rules of Exponents, and in parentheses, I want you to put exponent properties, and there are different forms, standard, exponential, and expanded. And then over to the side, I want you to put base with a little line on the top, and then power with a line on the top. Pause the video now and copy this. All right, so grab another color marker, and we're going to write out the rules. All right, so um, let's write out the tabs. You have rule one, multiplying, rule two, dividing, rule three, power to a power, rule four, zero power, rule five, negative power, rule six, quotient to a power, and rule seven, product to a power. These are all the rules we will go over in this video. So pause the video now and copy these down. Okay, now this is not necessary, but if you want to make it uh, keep from falling apart, so just take you a stapler if you have a stapler. If not, then don't worry about it. It's okay. Take a stapler and just staple the ends. All right, so let's put some detail at the top. All right, so we will take the base of five and a power of two. So this is the way you write it in an exponential form, right? So five, and you say that by saying five to the second power or five with a power of two. 
okay? And this is basically saying that you take this five and you multiply it by itself two times. So you're gonna multiply this five by itself two times. So that means five times five, and the standard form of that is 25. The exponential form is five to the second power. And just like I said, that is five times five. So this is telling us to multiply five by itself two times. Copy that. All right, for your next step, you're gonna grab your cut and paste notes and you're gonna cut out one through seven. Make sure you cut out the entire section so that you can glue it into your organizer. Pause the video now. All right, so you're supposed to have paused the video and cut out your cut and paste notes. So if you cannot print these out, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You can just write them in with a marker. All right, so if you printed these out, uh, you can pretty much match them up. It's only two confusing ones. So product of like bases, number three, goes in rule number one, and I'm gonna write that here. This is rule one. Okay. Quotient of like bases is rule two. Okay, you're just gonna match these up and you're gonna glue them at the top part here. All right, so grab your glue, glue the glue on the back, and then glue them to the top part of each part of your section, okay? It goes here and then you grab the rest of them. You should be able to match the rest of them up easily. Do that now, pause the video and do that now. All right, so let's just review what we just did. So we, you were supposed to cut out and paste in the notes from the printout. And if you did not have the printout, then you just write them in. So you can pull those up out of Verge, those notes, right? So rule number one was product of bases. Rule number two, is quotient of like bases, power to a power, right? That goes in rule three. You can pause the video and copy them from the video if you want. Uh, zero exponent, that goes with zero power. Okay, negative exponent, that goes with negative power. Quotient to a power that goes with quotient to a power. Okay, I'm not trying to be funny. I know some people get confused. Product to a power that goes with product to a power. Okay, let's talk about rule number one, multiplying exponents, okay? So it says, to multiply powers with the same base, add the exponents and keep the common base. Okay. So what does that mean? That means if the base is the same, add the exponents. Let's write that. If the base, underline that, is the same, add the powers. Okay, pause the video and copy that. All right, let's do two examples. You can copy these examples down and we're just gonna follow along with the rule. If the base is the same, add the exponents. Okay, so that's simple. So the base is the five and they are the same. So all you gotta do is just add the powers. The powers are three and two, okay? So we're just gonna add those 
write the base again and we're going to put them together and we're just going to write write them small three plus two and you get five to the power of five easy as that let's write how you say it five to the power of five. Just didn't know how to say it, okay? Five to the power of five, very easy. Okay, let's do the second one. Same thing, right? These are the bases. Going to, since the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so we have seven, 12 plus a negative three, right? Positive and a negative make a negative. So 12 minus three, 12 minus three gives you seven to the power of nine. Easy as Okay, pause the video and copy that. All right, let's flip to the next rule. Uh, two, it says quotient of like bases. To divide powers with the same base, subtract the exponents and keep the common base. All right, so it's like multiplying where you add it, but this time you're gonna do what? Correct, you're gonna subtract. So this is very easy. Okay, so write that. If the base is the same, subtract the powers. All right, go ahead and pause the video and copy that. Okay, let's take two examples. Should be very easy, let's follow the rule. If the base is the same, subtract the powers. So we're gonna subtract the powers. Look at the base first, eight and eight. Remember the big number is the base and the small number is the power. So the base is the same and we're gonna subtract the powers, All right? So let's just see that, let's work that out. So we'll have eight fives, eight, 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 and then we'll have two eights on the bottom. Because remember eight with a power of two means eight times eight. It just tells you how many times to multiply eight, okay? And we're multiplying eight five times in the numerator. So we will cancel these, okay? Cancel one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom. And there are no more on the bottom. So we just take these and that'll be eight to the third power or eight with a power of three or eight cube. And easy as that, okay? So that just explains why you uh, subtract the powers. Okay, let's do the second one. So we have four. Okay, five fours in the numerator and five six fours in the denominator. Okay, pause the video and work that out. All right, take a look, how did you do? Okay, so remember we canceled out as many as we could to pair up, to cancel. And in the denominator, we were left with one four, okay? In the numerator, 
there was nothing. Okay, so we just put a one on top, right? I know you may have forgot the one, but make sure you put the one and then you were left with one four. So that's four to the power of one, right? So one over four to the power of one. All right, so this will be the last section of this part of the video. There will be another video for the other rules, okay? To raise a power to a power, keep the base and multiply the exponents, okay? So a simple way to do this, if you see a parentheses, multiply the powers. Let's write that. Okay, pause the video and copy that. All right, so um, let's just follow the rule that we said. If you see a parentheses, multiply the powers, all right? So we have our parentheses. All you have to do is just multiply these powers. We know what two times four is. This should be super easy. We're just gonna multiply. Not gonna complicate it. That gives you three with a power of eight, three to the power of eight. Here, multiply nine to the power of four. Multiply two to the power of negative six, right? When you have a negative power, you can't leave it like that. So we'll put one over two to the six. And we'll talk about that when we get to negative powers. Okay, go ahead and copy that. Thank you for watching this section of the video. Tune in to the other sections of the video to go over the other rules. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.